Hello everybody, I hope you're well, nice to see you. Looks like I'm saying congratulations. Um, maybe I should be because today is our celebration assembly. I hope you had, all had a great weekend. Um, and we're gonna see who uh, has been working amazingly, doing some great work last week. So I'm just gonna get myself out of the way a little bit uh, and let's get started. So, first of all, we've got Amberly from Owl's class. And she's been working on number bonds this week and has shown that she has a really good understanding of them. Um, and you can see that in this piece of work that she's done over... I always get this muddled up, so it's not that way. It's that way. Over here, she's done some great work. Um, she very quickly saw that 9 and 1 was 10, and then 1 and 9 must be 10 too. So that's a great thing to spot, what, spot in those patterns. Can we give Amberly a big round of applause, please? That was a bit short. Let's do another one. That's fantastic. Well done, Amberly. Next up today, we've got Ariana in Robbins, and she's an excellent learner because she likes to challenge herself and move out of her comfort zone. Um, that's where you feel comfortable where you're learning, and sometimes it's good to go out of that comfort zone. Uh, she's moved away from I can see sentences and has started to compose and write her own sentences, which is great news. Can we give Ariana a big round of applause, please? <laughs> Next up, we've got... Tavea in Chaffinch class. Uh, we're celebrating her attitude to her work because it's been outstanding. She's determined to write independently and produce high quality work. Tavea was focused and challenged and, and she wrote this, uh, these four sentences, all on her own. What a great effort and brilliant handwriting too. Um, and you can see she's written about the little red hen, which is a great, um, a great story. Can we give Tavea a big round of applause, please? After Tavea, we've got Jaya. Um, and Jaya's been reading The Little Red Hen also. Um, and here is Jaya's character description that she's written about The Little Red Hen. She's going to write the whole story, um, but she's just been writing um, the character description. And she says, The Little Red Hen is friendly. She has a red comb, and that's the bit on the top of the chicken's head. It's called a comb. Um, and can you see any more adjectives in her writing? Hmm... Yellow, pointy claws. Yellow and pointy. This is great. Can we give Jaya a big round of applause, please? Um, the, the award in Kingfisher class goes to Ibrahim. Um, and Ibrahim has been focusing as well on the little red hen. And he's created a brilliant story map. A uh, story map, I'm sure lots of you could tell me, but it's where you use pictures. Uh, and you put those pictures in a sequence to show the, the story. And you can see here, this is the story of the little red hen. And it comes around. Oh, well, let, well, let me get my pointer so we can see it. So the story goes this way. And there's the little red hen at the end eating um, the delicious bread. There's, there's the bread that she's baked. Amazing. Can we give Ibrahim a big round of applause, please? Uh, next up is Lola, and I love these uh, awards because um, Lola's returned to school with determination and she's improving her handwriting and presentation. She's trying so hard to join her letters. Um, it can be a little messy. However, she started a new book and a difference that she's doing in her writing is amazing. She's made her letters smaller and she's spacing her words evenly. Uh, Mrs. Tesdell is so impressed. And you can see there, this is an old piece of work. And then this is a newer piece of work, and it's so much better. So can we give Lola a big round of applause, please? Um, this is an award. I've got to be honest, I missed this award last week, but this is for Hamza. Um, he's consistently responded to seesaw activities when he was working from home, and he's tried really hard right up until the last day of home learning. Um, he often sent in videos to explain what he was doing, uh, and this picture actually comes from a video um, explaining how to make a waterproof shelter. Um, so that's a brilliant piece of work, and well done, Hamza, for all that hard work when you were at home. Give him a big round of applause, please. Our next award goes to Amelia in Puffins class, um, and they've been rewriting the story Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, and this is the first four parts, but you can see that she's written you know, a good amount for each part. And Amelia always tries her best, both on the carpet and when she's working at her table. She has fantastic ideas that she shares with the rest of the class. 
amazing. Can we give Amelia a big round of applause, please? The next award is in year three, and this goes to Leonor. Uh, Leonor has learned reciprocally this week. Um, she's worked alone and supporting partners to plan a story using cartooning, story mapping, and shared writing to begin a detailed retelling of the story Jack and the Beanstalk. Leonor has shown that she can describe settings and characters as well as using speech punctuation. And you can see the process here. So she's got her a comic strip there of the story of Jack and the Beanstalk and she split it up into opening, build up, uh, problem, resolution and ending. Sorry, I've got to, I can't see very well. Uh, and then she's got a nice plan here that she's completed. And then you can see that she started writing it there. My head's in the way. I just shrunk myself down a little bit so I'm out of the way. Once upon a time, there was a small brave boy called Jack. And there we have Jack and the Beanstalk story. So it's great to see the process, and well done, Leonor, for trying so hard. Um, the award in Buzzards class goes to Praise. Praise is an excellent learner, as he always puts in 100% effort in everything he does. He's always looking for new challenges to extend and deepen his learning. Praise listens to feedback and uses it to improve his work, just like our bot one would do. Here is a picture of the first part of his short story that he's writing based on Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, Miss Dean was particularly impressed with his focus, his ideas, his imagin imaginative word choices. Praise is also always ready and willing to help others in the class too, showing great re reciprocity. So that's fantastic news. Can we give Praise a big round of applause please? Okay, Swift's class. Now this one's a bit different. So year three have been working on animations to show the essential routines that they've adopted in class. All the groups in Swift's produce a great video. Uh, but this group, which includes Aria, L Laura, Oriole and Ronnie, have done an excellent job because they communicated brilliantly with each other, coordinated their work and supported each other's learning. Their learning showed Arbot 4, Reciprocity and Arbot 1 building what they already know to move their learning on. Right, I'm going to be, be quiet now and I'm actually going to um, whoa, disappear because the next slide is going to be a short film and you need to watch it because it's not going to show again. But this is an animation that they've worked on. Here we go. How to move around school quietly and sensibly so you don't have an accident. That was amazing. How to move around the school sensibly and quietly so you don't cause an accident. And so they animated um, the characters walking up the stairs. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to pop off, pop, pop, pop back, and we're going to have a look at it again. Here they come. How to move around school quietly and sensibly so you don't have an accident. That is genius. I think they deserve a massive round of applause. Well done. So Rona in Starlings gets the award this week for her, ama her amazing work on uh, the ancient Greeks. And she's done this amazing vase. Uh, she spent a long time meticulously colouring her card with pastels, then covered it with black paint, and then she's carefully scratched uh, it off to create the patterns. She copied Greek patterns very carefully and took her time to make sure it looked authentic. And it does look very authentic. So she had to put the pastels on foot first, then the black paint, and then you scratch it off. So all these patterns that she's done here, they've all been scratched off, and that makes a really amazing Greek vase. Can we give her a big round of, of applause, please? In Razor Bills, the award goes to Ishmael. Uh, before lockdown, Ishmael really found writing a challenge. While he was learning at home last term, he benefited benefited from the amazing support of Mrs Lawson uh, and she helped him particularly with his English. Now he's returned to school, he's really trying his best to make his writing as good as it can be uh, and Mr Keeling has been very impressed with his effort and his new attitude to learning. In this piece he's tried his best handwriting his, and he's trying to join as well, that's amazing. Uh, he's used sentence openers as well. Well done Ishmael, uh, keep up the good work. Can we, have, can we have a big round of applause please?
The next award goes to Alex in Goldcrest class, who's been working really hard. He's been putting his hand up more often, uh, and he's contributing more in class discussions. In English, he's been kind and helped another child whose English is an additional language. In maths, he's persevered and succeeded in a topic which he found tricky. I'm just going to um, disappear so you can have a closer look. Wow, look at that work. That's amazing. Oh, he's done a bars as well. I like his drawing over here. That's a great character. And then here's his maths as well. Oh, Alex deserves a big round of applause. OK, next up is Jess in Dove's class. Um, and Miss Shaw was really impressed with her creative writing. She used lots of great vocabulary choices to add detail to her work. And these were all chosen independently. Um, in year five this week, the books have gone missing from their classroom. Um, and all that's left behind is some a few clues and some do not enter tape. The children have been writing stories about what they think has happened to the books. I'm not sure um, why Miss Shaw being, keeps being accused. I've heard Mr Stack's been accused as well. Nobody's accused me. But I do like books. I've got quite a lot in my office. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, can we give Jess a big round of applause, please? Uh, next up is George in Heron's class, um, and he's worked tirelessly in his writing this week. Um, as I said a minute ago, they've been writing a book about the disappearance of all the books in the Year 5 classrooms, and George is hooked. Um, because of this, his opening is fantastic, and he's been able to show his creativity. Next week, so starting today, they're going to be editing their stories, um, and uh, Miss Parker is looking forward to seeing the finished pieces coming together. It does look great, doesn't it? Miss Parker, all of the storybooks have been stolen, I shrieked at the top of my lungs. Great, top of my lungs, I like that. OK, can we give George a big round of applause, please? <laughs> Next up is Summer, um, and Summer in Eagles class, and she's been working really hard across all her subjects, particularly putting lots of effort into her reading journal and her story writing. Um, and also, she created this amazing self-portrait in the style of an artist called Andy Warhol. So I'm going to disappear so you can enjoy it, because look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Um, and this is her writing there as well, and she's done some great writing. Um, Miss, uh, Miss Allison is very impressed with the inference and connections she's making with the class text they're reading as well, which is called The Invention of Hugo Cabret. So I think... Uh, Summer deserves a big round of applause. Well done, Summer. Um, next up is Sophia. Um, and Sophia isn't in Sandpipers, she's in Magpies. Um, but she gets the award this week. She is a star. She shows all values on a daily basis and is an excellent learner, showing integrity by always choosing to do the right thing, even when nobody's watching, which is what we like to see. Um, Sophia is always winning and able to learn independently and as part of the team, just like our bot four. So, well done, Sophia. Can we give Sophia a big round of applause, please? OK, that's it for this week. Um, thank you very much, all, and congratulations to all those people who've been um, got an award. I know there are more people who deserve awards, and you may get it at the beginning of next week. Um, but that's great. Um, I know Mr Stack's got a special award that he's going to give in one of his assemblies this week, um, which he's quite excited about, which is to do with um, our behaviour on the playground. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to be quiet. Have a great day. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.